In our next series of lectures, we're going to talk about a certain type of AC circuit called a filter. And the way that a filter works is that there is some incoming signal into this circuit, and then there's also an outgoing signal from the circuit. And what the filter does is, given the underlying frequency of the incoming signal, it will either keep or reject that particular signal. So for a given filter, if there is a, let's say, high frequency signal going into the filter, and the filter is designed a certain way, it may allow that high frequency signal to continue. But maybe there's another filter that has a low frequency signal, and then that low frequency signal, given the way that the filter is designed, is actually removed such that there's very little left. So in this case, given the frequency of this signal, it was allowed to proceed. But given the frequency of this signal here, it was actually destroyed and removed from the signal coming out of the filter. And the reason the filter is able to do this is because given the various components in our circuit, our resistors, our capacitors, and our inductors, these inductors and capacitors have behavior that is based upon not only their own properties, but the frequency of the signal coming through. So the impedance of our inductor here is JWL, and the impedance of our capacitor is negative J over WC. And so the frequency of the signal that passes through impacts how much these components either affect or do not affect the signal as it comes through. And we will select these components, our resistors, capacitors, and inductors, such that we can generate desirable properties with our filter to either allow or remove certain signals from our system.